Beth Sobel is a home wrecker. She's eliminated my need to work in my garden, take vacations to Tuscany, and even my desire to decorate my house with pleasant smelling flowers. And now I've gone and canceled my family camping trip to Mount Shuxon because with every work of art Beth bestows on the gaming world, I have less and less reason to leave my house. Flat Out Games is at it again with their tile laying prowess, this time with the Randy Flynn design game Cascadia. Right off the bat we're getting strong Calico vibes, the game that preceded this one from Flat Out's lineup, and that's not a bad thing at all, not least of all because we get to indulge in the board gaming decadence that is Beth Sobel's masterful illustrations. And because it's a different theme, this line of games has given us Beth's vision of cozy cats on blankets and now the beautiful landscape and wildlife that some of us call home. Ooh, wait, we've got grizzlies? Oh, quick note, everything in this video is a prototype and I was specifically asked not to show the back of the box, so... Whoops. Cascadia is comprised of tiles. The hexagon ones are different landscape combinations and the round ones are wildlife. The game plays until all the hexes have been used and added to each player's environments. A player's turn consists of pulling a combination of landscape and animal tiles from a marketplace. They place the landscape on their existing tableau and, if possible, by the rules, place the animal anywhere on their board. There are special tiles that if you play an animal on them you can get a pine cone. Pine cones are used to clear out the market of tiles available, grab different combos of available resources, or just as end game points. Once the game ends, players then count their largest area of each terrain type and get a point for each tile it spans. They get a point for each pine cone they have, and then they get points based on the animal cards that were in play. Right, the animal cards. Each game you have a set of animal cards that dictate how you score each of the animals you place at the end of the game. Some variety is afforded here because there are multiple of each. These cards should dictate how you play the game. You're not only juggling to build the biggest of each environment and collect pine cones, you're creating these specific habitats for animals that have very specific needs. Needs that you have to be actively facilitating throughout the game. Now I might be making it sound a little complicated when it comes to scoring, and that's fair. But when actually playing the game and scoring each section individually, it's not bad at all. And that's the interesting bit. There's a lot to keep track of in this game, but it's laid out very clear for you. Once you see what the scoring options are, you aren't having to reference back and forth each turn, and each turn isn't necessarily going to make or break the game for you. That's the big difference between this and Calico for me. In my Calico review I mentioned that it was a very cerebral game that borderline made me have a headache. I don't get that same vibe here. Calico was much more detrimental if you played a tile in the wrong place at the wrong time. Every action could potentially ruin a big portion of your game. And to be clear, I thoroughly enjoy both this game and Calico. But if I were forced to make a really weird comparison, I'd say if Calico were Dominoes, Cascadia would be Mexican Train. They're similar games, and on the surface, maybe too similar. But when you sit down and play them, Calico is the best kind of frustrating, and Cascadia offers a similar feel in a more relaxed scenario. By the way, they're both way better than either Dominoes or Mexican Train. The decisions you have presented to you each turn can be manipulated to suit your needs. Each of the tile combinations you choose could affect the course you take the rest of the game. But the mechanics and scoring aren't so stringent that you can't course correct when you make an error. And you probably will, especially when the game offers variability and you realize that scoring methods can, can and will change every single game. They'll be similar, sure, but your strategy will have to adapt to the environment that you yourself build and that the altering rules create each time you sit down to the table. This second game in Flat Out's tile laying line is another huge win. It stands out from its predecessor in all the right ways, offering a less restrictive tile laying experience that's both pleasing to look at and relaxing to play without being so light as something like King Domino. I think this is very much worth checking out and something that I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed. And that is Cascadia from Flat Out Games, designed by Randy Flynn with art by Beth Sobel.